Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game project every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time give my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran. And today, I'm very excited to be checking out the 8th most popular project in all of games that is fit to print a puzzly tile-laying game about breaking the woodland news from the team that brought you dot dot dot, Calico, Cascadia, and is that ever... I can't read that last one, Verdani, I think. Uh, so I gotta say, I chose this over some other games because I really love the main image. I feel like spotlighting a price of 29 bucks is a fantastic idea. And they've raised $138,000. They're clearly doing very, very ha well there. They're also spotlighting the track record of the designer or the developer of Calico, Castadia, and whatever that game is. So I like that. I know it's a puzzly, tile-laying game. Um, main image, you know, it looks good. Looks, It looks, looks solid. I'm excited to check it out. 29 bucks puzzly style game if that's your thing i think i'm in uh if you can get me on the video so as always when to go with the video i'm thinking three things do i want it can you do it how much is it let's go all right actual components welcome to thistleville there's a little bit of everything going on even though it might just be prototype but still actual components on in this charming woodland town we're hosting everything from local fairs to international sporting events we've got scandals and triumphs Good news and bad. Luckily, we've got enough local papers to cover it all. The name's Boris Ehrenstein. I'm the lead reporter around here. Now, pay attention. We don't have time to dilly-dally. The front page layout is due in just a few minutes. There's no time for perfection. Grab the big stories and make sure you get the right photos. And remember, the newspaper's a business, so don't forget those ads. Fit to Print is a beautiful strategy board game for one to six players and plays in 15 to 30 minutes. All right, that's one thing that I would spotlight there. The one to six player, 15 to 30 minutes. This is almost a filler weight game that goes up to six players. I immediately know I have a spot on my shelf for a game like that, assuming my group uh, likes that, because that's, that's a great sweet spot. You know, that filler weight game while you're waiting for somebody to get there. Designed by Peter McPherson, Fit to Print is set in a whimsical animal world, illustrated by Ian O'Toole. Players compete to be the top editor in their own small town paper by collecting and arranging articles, photos, and ads on the front page. Rules are simple, and they can be taught in just a few minutes. Let's take a look. The game is a real-time puzzle played over three rounds, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Each round has two phases. In the reporting phase, you collect newspaper tiles one at a time from the center of the table and carefully stack them on your desk. Decide on the right mix of articles, photos, and ads, and when you think you have enough tiles, say, layout, and start laying out your paper. Hey, you can everything in. During the layout phase, everything must fit within the back. It reminds me of Galaxy Trusker in that aspect of first you're collecting the tiles and now you're placing in them. Uh, them in there at least at least that aspect did which i think is a good thing i think that's going to appeal to a lot of people i know galaxy truckers are very popular game boundaries for the day of your paper in addition tiles of the same type cannot be placed next to one another articles of the same type or color may not touch photos may not touch and ads may not touch fit to print features more than 150 unique newspaper tiles all with gorgeous artwork that brings the town of Thistleville to life. You will score points in a number of ways as you piece together the news. First, articles give points based on their size. You'll also have to watch out for the mood of each of your articles. The goal is to balance the front page with good news and bad. Second, photos give points for being adjacent to articles of different types or moods. Another way to score points. I feel like we might be going a bit too much into the weeds here. Over. You'll lose a point for every tile that you can't fit on your front page. So try your best to collect just the right amount. Each round, you'll have a different centerpiece tile that will score in a way that is completely unique to you. Mm. So see if you can achieve their goals to maximize your points. Ads don't score you any points, but they are vital to your paper's success. At the end of three rounds, the newspaper with the lowest total ad revenue folds and goes out of business. <laughs> yes. So you'll need to keep up with your opponents. At the end of each day, whoa, the end whoa, of three whoa. rounds, the newspaper with the lowest total ad revenue folds and goes out of business. So you'll need to keep up with your opponents. 
So you're at, at the, the game? end of each day, you'll count up your points and your ad revenue and compare with your rival editors. After three rounds, the player with the most points wins, as long as they didn't fold. Each game of Fit to Print will have a new combination of tiles, centerpieces, So is there straight up player elimination? Because I'm not against that. Additional challenges each wow, round. this is eight minutes. Okay. Each time you play, you'll be solving a new puzzle. So now we're talking about a different game mode. a rushed feeling of a real newsroom. Or a more relaxed pace, allowing for time to soak in all the stories. You can select the time limit for each round. Not a fan of real-time games? Try the turn-based mode. Want to introduce the game to younger players? Try family mode. I believe it is flat solo? out games, I think it was. You can challenge yourself to the solo and puzzle modes. Yep. With so many unique ways to lay out your paper and score points, along with the variable scoring conditions and different game modes, lovers of spatial puzzles will have lots to enjoy. I don't know what we're going to do for the next four minutes. Are they going to go personal touch? That's fit to print. With simple rules and simultaneous play, this is a quick and engaging game then for players of all ages minutes? and skill levels. Hey, now that you know the drill, you better get to it. Time's running out. That paper isn't going to lay itself out after all. Personal touch. Yes. Hi everyone, I'm Sean Stankwich, co-founder and designer and developer at Flat Out Games. We've got the whole Fit to Print team on this call to introduce themselves and talk a little bit about this project that we're so excited to be launching. Hi there, I'm Rob Melvin. I'm a founding member of Flat Out Games. I'm one of the game's lead developers, and I'm also focused on logistics for the project. Hey folks, I'm Pete. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think about tacking this on at the end of a video? Because um, it feels... Sometimes they do a personal touch and it feels kind of natural. This one feels like uh, like it almost like it was an assignment. Like, oh yeah, we're gonna, we got to do this. I don't know. It just feels different than other personal touches that I've seen. I don't see it done typically like this. So I'm interested to know what other people think. Obviously, it makes me feel more comfortable to can you do it. And I think it's going to help them maybe get a little bit less uh, meanness potentially in comments, just knowing the, the people. I don't know. I'm really late. And yeah, are we still on the opening vid? Yeah, this is too long. I agree. Eight minutes is... I'm the designer. It's of a Pizza long. Print. I'm also one of the lead developers, and I worked on thematic direction and editing. Everyone, I'm Dylan Mangini, one of the graphic designers on Fit to Print. This means I get to work with all of Ian's I wonder if he's related to Eric great Mangini. Looking final product. Hi there, I'm Molly Johnson, co-founder of Flat Out Games and one of the developers, art directors, and editors of Fit to Print. I'm also the marketing lead getting all the news that's fit to print out to you. Three years ago, we met Pete at Gen Con. We were all there to promote our new release games with AEG, Point Salad, and Tiny Towns. Ooh, Point Salad. We had the opportunity Ooh, to try Tiny a prototype like of them. fit to print, and we had so much fun playing it, we immediately- That was a nice name drop there. Like, I saw, I was like, oh, okay, those are, those are some heavy hitters. We wanted to team up. Point Salad, in particular. Mwah. Up and make the game together. We wanted to create a beautiful, welcoming game that would appeal to a wide audience of gamers. Simple rules, but really interesting decisions. So far, it's been an unbelievable journey from prototype to product, and we can't wait to share Fit to Print with all of you. One of the main missions of Flat Out Games is to create games that are super simple to teach and accessible to everyone, while providing layers of strategy for more seasoned gamers. The kinds of games that you love to share with your friends and family. You might remember us from our previous collab projects, Calico, Cascadia, and Verdant. Producing all these games is such an amazing experience. Over 25,000 backers have supported us to make the games a reality, and we continue to strive to deliver super high quality products to everyone who helped us make them possible. Cascadia even won the 2022 Spiel des Jahres for German Game of the Year, becoming the first crowdfunded game to achieve that honor. The goal now, of our impressive. collab is that's, to bring together really a team impressive. of folks to make great games while sharing in the responsibilities and the rewards of the process. So if you're newer to the hobby, the Spiel des Jahres is, is a really big deal. That means you're going to sell a lot of copies of the game. You put that on the box. I mean, that, that pretty much means it's uh, the best design game of the year. Now, obviously, they have certain tendencies and traits that they lean towards because uh, there's also the Kinder Spiel as well, but it's, that's still fantastically impressive. I would honestly mention that on the, uh, the marquee, potentially. 
We continue to be a very small company with a collaborative spirit, and we're really excited to be launching our fourth crowdfunding campaign. It's been really great to connect with so many of you at conventions oh, that's good again chat. and for the first time. And we're so thankful for all the feedback and how much you've already spread the word about Get to Print. It's been so fun to work with Pete on this game. From that very like first really play long and wanting to play it again it's just immediately. Like, it's still, it's knew it was a game we'd want to share with you. Since then, we've brought together a fantastic team, ensuring we bring you the best possible product. And Ian did such a phenomenal job bringing the world of Thistleville to life. And we've been working really hard to pull everything together into a really high quality product, one that lives up to the high standards we set for the ourselves. The interweaving the pictures. We are incredibly proud of what we've know. created as a team. All we need now is your support to bring Fit to Print to tabletops around the world. We think the game's great, but you don't have to take our word. I feel like this is a script. There are a ton of folks who've been playing Fit to Print, and they're loving it. So. Check out the page below, where you'll find out more about the game, the exciting plans we have in store for the campaign, and what people are saying about it. Thanks so much for checking out Fit to Print. We hope you'll join us on the journey to making it a success. That last part of the video was not for me personally, but that's not what I try and do this channel on. That was, I feel like, one of the best demonstrations of can you do it I've seen in a video. I was bored by how well I feel like they can produce and make this game. Uh, which which is that's a nice warm security blanket in an otherwise sea of wool uh, blankets, which Kickstarter is in a lot of instances. Uh, there's just even with the bigger club, like, oh my goodness, the darkest dungeon thing. That's oh, okay. Okay, anywho, so can you do it? Yes. Do I want it? Yeah, it looks like a cool little game. Uh, up to six players honestly had me there. I'm very intrigued by that player elimination. Because I love me some player nation. And then coming from, you know, uh, I've, the only one I've played of those is Calico, and I thought it was good. Um, so I'm excited for that. So for the flat out games, four created, 130 backed. We got the people, we got the stuff. Tabletop game designer and publisher, collaborative based in Seattle, Washington. Uh, Verdant is out. Cascadia is obviously out. I love this 29, 29, 29. That's nice. And I say this all the time. Why not list the price, especially if you have a great price? I think it's it just fulfillment almost complete in FAQs. That's from two weeks ago. Looking good. I feel great on the customer service. My Kickstarter is missing a small green vacancy token about two days ago, 23 hours ago. They got on it. Cool. So can you do it? Yes. Do I want it? Yes. How much is it? Yes. And this is what I'm talking about. This is is the infinity gauntlet of Kickstarters right here. If you can answer those three questions before we've even got to the story, I love it. I want the game. I feel comfortable you can do it. And at 29 bucks, I'm in. So instantly, I feel like we are... That video is really long, but we're in like an A-B territory already because all three questions are answered. I do love that. Uh, Fit to Print is a beautiful strategy-based board game for one to six players. It's designed by Peter McPherson. Send me to the board game geek. Oh, be still my beating heart. 367 uh okay top 1000 game and illustrated by eo no tool same thing going to the games grades lots of great okay cool uh we're talking theme it's really clever sometimes a game comes along and it's just a perfect little gem Neh. uh i'd like to know more of why he liked to decide for thanks it's just it's perfect and clever uh, Fit to Print is a tie game. I don't want to stop playing. It is such a fun blend of spatial puzzle solving and real-time elements. The artwork is top-notch and the gameplay is easy for anyone to get into. I feel like that's a good quote explaining what's going on in the game, but I feel like the video did a lot of that as well. Um, the thing, I want to know about that player elimination, like your ads. How does that work? Fit to Print comes in a variety of breaking new scorecards and character cards. There are 1,000 unique game setups to explore. I should have expected that Peter McPherson would once again vex me with a pretty challenging game with a pleasant appearance after Tiny Towns. You'd think I'd know better, but I was pretty wowed by this one. It's got a lot going for it. These are all fluff. Fit to Print takes all these game plans, strategic tile placement, drafting, pattern building, and set collection. It really makes them hum with its physical design and real-time components. Fantastic. So dropping, component, dropping the mechanisms of the game, I always feel like it's a solid thing to do with the very minimum. Uh, it felt very thematic in that we're woodland creatures running newspapers trying to tell the local stories. I really love that. Why does that feel... Uh, I really enjoy this game. I can't think of a gaming group in our lives that would enjoy this. So the theme comes across, and I can see definitely with my group, as long as you're a talkative group, really getting into the theme. 
Like, what's the scandal about? That sort of fun stuff. It's quick, it's clever, and every game ends when you feel like you could do better, which makes for a truly addictive game. People need to know back this immediately. It's crazy good. All right, what's in the box? I already know the price. Six front page boards, 120 newspaper tiles. I'd like to know the size of the boards, but no bigs. Six finishing tiles at 29 bucks. I'm not pounding my chest about the price. 18 double set, 30 breaking news cards, six character cards. Ooh, asymmetrical, six 3D desks. Those are nice. Kickstarter promos, game breaking news mini expansion. Kickstarter backers to fit to print receive the game breaking news mini expansion, a set of two unique double sided centerpiece tile and nine unique breaking news cards, absolutely free. With the addition of these tiles and cards, players will have new ways to play that bend and break the rules of play, creating new and spatial challenges and adding completely new gameplay elements, aka the thing that you totally want. Cool, thrown in, awesome. Opinion. You constantly have unique ways to score. There are tons of tiles and what you were... Uh, I do like that. You constantly have unique ways to score. There are tons of tiles and what you require and how you manage is going to be different every time you play. Now, that's the kind of quote I love. Uh, what the breaking news and player powers add in terms of variability and interest was so great. Okay, yes, Dylan wins the best quote on the page in my personal opinion award. Reporting phase. Things, stuff, cool, great. Just looking for the gameplays. I'm sure they're down here. Fit to print. Time to share is the good news. Uh, preview. Fifty percent is an awesome game. Is this the is this preview? This is the this is the overview. Where's the gameplay? Ooh, solo mode. Awesome. What do we got? Seventeen pages. Uh, so we got components setup. Okay, not really worried about that. They just won the spiel this yours. I'm not expecting them to drop a dud of a rule booklet on a filler weight game. Like, could you imagine how pissed people would be if this rule booklet was garbage? Like, it would just be unfathomable especially when i saw like how professional this looked like with the scripted last four minutes which you know once again not my cup of tea personally but i felt super comfortable with you being able to make the game which was the goal solo mode uh there's a solo solo mode in the game box which is another flat out trademark that i appreciate greatly even better it comes with six solo puzzles using special specific tile combinations adding another solo challenge to the experience beyond the standard solo game oh that's cool i like that Puzzle mode, try to fit out the thing, stuff, turn-based moves, more opinions, family variant, newsroom mood. Is this a cooperative? The next level of experience, the hustle bus of a real newsroom? Then try the newsroom mode designed for 4 to 12 players. What? Now that intrigues me to no end. I want to see a video of that. I want to see a video of the solo. I want to see a video of that. I want to see a video of the gameplay. I don't want to see three or four opinion pieces uh games our teams have helped bring to life dallas of stuff things lots of stuff lots of things the members of our team have years of experience and working on a number of successful got it i'm already cool play this so this is you talking about the previous games i i like this i have no issues with this i don't think it's more important than the shipping i feel like the shipping's being buried right now uh the kickstarter edition comes with free promo tiles and cards that will never be part of any standard retail edition even if the guys may come game does make it into our uh, distribution i feel like this should have been included when you were talking about that a little bit earlier like when you were trying to convince me on the price <clears throat> price price is less than the msrp we're just i just feel like we're just kind of just going on and on this is the second time i've seen alex why don't you see alex twice i mean i like alex alex is a great guy nothing negative to say about alex but why don't you see his opinions twice but especially before the shipping is there a gameplay here we go bingo beautiful that's what i want to see and this is a another okay awesome so they do have all these videos that are just further down this is looking at the puzzles the abstracts cool overview lot just so many things just great i'm sure it has everything that i want to possibly see if it's there oh my gosh it just keeps going alex three times three times what the hell Go, Alex! Damn, three times! Two in a row! That's two in a row! Is that the, no, it's different people. It's different people. Got it. Oh my god, I just want the ship. This is insanity! This is, it just keeps going! I feel like it's Groundhog's Day. It's just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna search for quotes until I realize it's 2.58 and say, oh crap, I gotta get my daughter up so I can go pick my sons up from the bus. Okay, good, we're out of quotes. Whew, project funded. Uh, so this is the stretch goals. I feel like this should be higher, especially way higher than that video dump where i feel like that video dump i wonder how many people just got lost that video dump and said whatever i'm 29 bucks i'm not even sweating for the shipping uh and shipping still buried all the way at the bottom larger score pad uh so how did we did we unlock these how do we get these 
We put a lot of time and effort to design and think this as we get funded, we'll be breaking some scoops together. As our numbers grow, we'll be uh, reinvesting extra money and upgrading the quality components and finding fun bonuses. We follow leads to become the starter pointer. We understand how stretch goals work. The more funding we can achieve as a team, the better everyone's copy the game will be. Apparently, you do not understand how stretch goals work. Oh, these are unlocked. I think these are unlocked. I think there's going to be a price at the bottom one. If I keep going, yes, 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 yes. Okay. I just was like, where, where's the thing? I'm just used to like an unlock symbol. Or is that the only one symbol? No. The game box is upgraded to be more sturdy. Great. Score panels are upgraded to a larger size. Love it. Game box is upgraded as linen finish. Don't care. All cards are upgraded to a thicker stock. Beautiful. The game boxes don't care. Uh, a set of three additional breaking news cards. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. I don't know what the hell that does in the sake of the game, but I'm in. All cards now upgraded with linen finish. Very nice. Scenarios and achievements. Expand the game experience to include solo scenarios and achievements. I like that sort of stuff, especially if you're a solo gamer. Print and play, five bucks. Follow along, one buck, 29 bucks. These the Kickstarter edition times two, you get 56 times six. Uh, Founders edition, so I do like this. This is very nice, especially for people who are trying to purchase this in other parts of the world where the shipping is going to be uh, not fun. Founders edition, what is this? Is This is the prototype, hand sign. Got it. Get the other games uh, in our post campaign pledge manager. Cool. So you can do that. But once again, I feel like this section right here really buried, as is the shipping, as is the stretch goals. Below just an absolute sea of videos and quotes. Just a, just a, it made me seasick. We subsidized over $50,000 in back of shipping charges to help pitch in. We're continuing with that trend here. Please, I do like the fact, I will give them kudos. I really do like the fact they've bolded certain things. So if you're just glimpsing, which I do, uh, browsing, I do think a lot of people do that, you can specifically focus on certain things. A large discount off for quoted shipping rates to all of our backers. Please note that these are estimates the actual cost of shipping. Got it. 13 bucks. Two copies, 18 bucks. Six copies, 36 bucks. That's not bad. Waska and Y, 19. UK, 13. What's the uh, what's the air quotes? It's air quotes. Asterix. UK and UK, due to import and tax laws, VAT and other things are required to be added, so you are going to get jacked by the VAT. Um, you're probably used to that, though. It's okay, so I'm looking at 42 bucks for this. Is that it? Is that the price? Very reasonable. In, out, don't have an issue with that. Some fun stretch goals, some interesting ideas, and a video that... Very lengthy, but it made me feel super comfortable with the fact that you're going to be able to put out this game. You know, 4,123 print run, kudos. FAQ, nothing. Well, they answered a lot of questions. Like, I can't think of anything that I would have to ask. Like, that felt very comprehensive in, in depth. One update. We did it fully funded. Welcome to the thing. This was 12 days ago. Then radio silence. That's interesting. That's an interesting choice. Have they always done that? Thank you all so much. We did it. We were fully funded. Welcome to the Fit for Print Kickstarter campaign. Stretch goals. Things stuff. Cool. <clears throat> close to our 80,000 stretch goal. Thank you. We always like to close out our empties with a huge thank you to our backers. We appreciate all the support. We simply could not make this game a reality with all of you. Our Fit to Print team has been working so hard to prepare for the launch of this campaign. Yada, yada stuff. Things. Cool. Looks like Fido are thoroughly confused by the Boris Epstein profile. Is the profile of the company or his team of journalists or something else? Got it. Like asking specific questions about a thing. They're in here responding. Um, so not a particularly engaging or exciting update area. That's really surprising. One update on a $138,000 project in 12 days. This game looks gorgeously waiting. will be long, but I'm happy we can get the print-and-play version now in December. I'm so excited to back this game. Uh, cool. Responding. So final grade for this one, fit to print. I want to go look at that main image one more time because I really did like it. I thought it did a great job spotlighting the price, uh, the previous games, I might, I might just drop a Spiel this Yars logo in there, you know? Why not? Throw one in there. Doesn't make sense for this game, but, you, but you, like from the... T I don't know. Uh, but I still think it looks really good. You also tell me it's a puzzly tie lane game. I would mention the fact that it's 1-6 to six players in 15-30 to 30 minutes. A light, super lightweight filler style game. Uh, I do like that, but that's a nitpick more than anything. The story... Not a big fan of the organization of it. Not a big fan of the overwhelming majority of the quotes. It's just the insane amount of quotes. Like, if we actually went through and counted the quotes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just personally curious. What's my guess? I'm going to guess there's 40. Eight. I'm, I'm just purely... Sean's going with a B. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then we're not even to the big part. The 21, the 22. Here we go. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 
29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Oh my gosh. 46 quotes. I don't know what the number is, but I don't think it's 46. I think it's a smidge bit lower. But end of the day, I'm going to go with a B plus on this one. Uh, the, the organization, the story, and the like the video, I think it just, I don't know. I love a personal touch and it made me feel comfortable. It just, it felt very forced, which I guess it was. Like, that is, like whatever. Anywho, B plus looks really rock solid, fit to print. Let me know in the comments below what's your final grade on this one. If you're enjoying the content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye.